what is centering? Prior to start, just I request you, if you have any query in between, you just raise your hand and you can ask me. Whatever possible, definitely I am going to reply. What is centering? Tendering is a process where a prospective supplier, I come here, supplier or a service provider submits or work in response to an invitation of tender by a client. So, what is tender actually? For example, if you want, say, particular, say in your case, uh, for a citizenship person, if you want to buy a fan or buy a fridge, any component, any material, then what you are going to do? You will go nowadays in the digital era, so you will definitely will see or you will search that if you want to purchase a mobile, so definitely you will search what will be the better model, what will, uh, what will be the suitable one for you. So, Tendering is actually just the same thing in your case. Personally, say you want to purchase a mobile. You will search it in net. You will find that Samsung or say Realme, Redmi, Vivo. Every model you will find out and then you will select as part of your fidelity. So, in tendering, in say office purpose, when you are going to work, you cannot take a decision by your own. Say by looking through this market, you cannot take a decision individually. Because say if you take a decision individually, if you choose the item, another person, another officer, another engineer may ask you. How we are going to finalize this marshalling this equipment or this machinery or this part? Because you may find in different ways, in cheaper ways or better quality. So that you will be questionable. And that is why this tendering process is very important. That means you have to go to the market and there are some systems how you approach the market. So that system you have to call, that is contender, you have to call bidders, you have to ask them, you have to ask them to submit their offer in different ways, various ways. So that is the tender, that is the tendering process. And it should be very transparent. Everyone, not only you, you call the tender, but who are going to participate, or other officers, or other say personnel, they must know what you are looking for, what is the date. So every decision must be known to others. I am not a teacher. So, already I told you, purpose of tendering providing access to all genuine handlers to participate in supply or work activity. It may be supply, it may be work also. Because uh, being an electrical engineer, you have to work in the various activities, maybe in Swiss yard, maybe other say electrical equipment parcel or electrical installation activities. So that is why it is participating in supply or work activities. Standardizing procurement policy in terms of quality, rates and quantity. That already I told you. Uh, because what is the quantity required? Uh, the quality days to maintain transparency in doing activities that is very important transparency because you are going to utilize public money 
how you are utilizing that money. Moi tia mane tuma tumaro kuje ko sar maro ko chu. The egg has truck you have to be very cautious. Karan we are going to use public money. You have to convince everybody that very properly that particularly money. So transparency that is why everyone who are involved or the public also they must know how the fund is expenditure has been done. Then expenditure control that is why already in ICR with you how you are going to control it because you can process one material. It may be in a higher cost. Then that is not called expenditure control. You have to go through the entire. You have to see what is the best suitable price. It is not like that. You have to suit the lowest price. As per government terms and condition, you must suit the the lowest price. But in some cases. Where quality is involved, in some occasions you have to go to some higher price also, and that too with the consent of other committee members. If you go to choose a higher price rather than the the lowest one, then you have to take the decision with the committee that is formed for them. So that is. Everything is transparent to select the most suitable answer. Then, how to proceed? Tendering process. I am telling about the tendering. So, how to process this tendering? So, how people? Or how tender will come to know that you require, particularly this department require these items or this work. How others say those interested tender, how they will come to know? So it is through some tender notification. And nowadays in digital days, we have lots of scopes for circulation that tender notice. So, tender whole tendering process is started with a notice which needs wide circulation. Key points like what is the activity? First thing that is important, the bidder must know the what is the work. Then submission period when to submit their bid. The time, estimated value. EMD etc. EMD means amis money deposit. Then I pick up the letter three. Cell have to be given in precise detail notice. Notice cell have to be circulated through office notice board, newspaper and digital media. तो आप क्या इन्हें पहले क्या बात स्वागत है इधर का जब मैंने टेंडर की नोटिस मैंने उड़ा दी है। Notice one again, Java. Here, say, say, Java. What last time? Eight more biscuits. We can even pass it. So you see this tender notice. This is this tender. It is how the file is selected. Any one, Tamil Nadu, other company. I found it in a paper. So I take this. Tamil Nadu water supply, they have total the tender notice. You see, I have number, it is their number, tender inviting, who invite the tender? The chief engineer, the uh, work board, uh, master. Then downloading video, it is an e-tendering process. I will come to e-tendering, what is e-tendering and what is normally paper tendering. So, downloading video means for e-tendering, you can download from 16 5, 2020. Until 
then uh, what will happen after 30, uh, 30 minutes they may so they will delete they will remove that EMP pay payable online mode show e tendering website EMP means earnest money deposit because say how will ensure say one vendor join in the tendering process in between they may go up that that will be a problem for the organization who has broken the tender. So that is why to keep every vendor, those who are actually participants, in a binding some financial, this some amount is deposited to the client in the name of earnest money deposit. So when tendering process is completed, it is not that the five parties have participated in the tender one only will be selected the other four because they are also going to submit the EMD what will happen to that EMD? that will be returned it's just a type of security just to ensure that in between the tendering process they should not leave it or they should not go out so that is why EMD is very important and if say some meter participate without the EMT automatically it will be cancelled. It will not be accepted. So EMT is mandatory. That's pre-feed meeting. That is uh, another important point that I will come to later. Uh, there are the meetings before the tendering process started. That with submission. You see that 35 2023 before 15 hours at the office of the tender in Bhaiji. Digitally signed and scripted tender through e-tendering website, this one. Bid opening. So, 30th is the last day. The next day, we will open. Those who are submitting the bids, that will be, those papers will be opened. So, everything is, is given in the tender. Say, if I want, or you say, want to participate, you must know, because we have to know that what is the condition? When to submit the bid? When it will be open? When? Uh, uh, so many things. So that is uh, they, uh, particularly the salient research is given. Because if you give everything, every details in the tender notice, then it will be very costly one. Because the advertisement is definitely has some cost. So that is that only salient research are given in the tender notice. Then it comes to what is the war? What is the activity? Here it is engaging project management consultancy to provide support to the Tamil Nadu water supply and drainage board in project management and construction supervision for the following CWS. So I told you that regarding the pathways or activity, but you see it is also in case of consultancy. How consultant is the suit? So, that is like for consultancy also. This type of energy is coming out. Then CWSS to one to eight six. Anyway, uh, these are some conditions they have given. Uh, the amount, involvement amount it is given in, in the right side you see. Uh, this bid security actually. Uh, how much security they have to give? So, rupees 4.75 uh, lakh for the first uh, zero three number and rupees 7.9 lakhs in this part, uh, second part. So, it, this is the big security. EMD is there, over and above that, this big security has to be given in the later stage. Not in the first phase, in, in, at the time of the submission. But security money will be, because say, some party is working and in between, they again go out. The client will be they will have definitely some problem. So that is why to find that particular uh, particular party so some security amount is always taken. This is another uh, tender of this. So you see the uh, the 
name of their work, Kokos High Development, Well Metered, have been located here, the city of India. Estimated calls, they have to be taken as a minute call. That is, now we will see in every danger, uh, this estimated cost is to be given. Because, say, then only the vendor will know actually how or what type of material or uh, what type of construction activities they have to do. If they have the idea of the full work amount, that is the estimated amount, it may be very, it may very say plus minus 10% also. But the vendor will have some idea and accordingly they will submit their agenda. So uh, this and this is very important actually, say, uh, being an engineer uh, to find out the estimated value. Civil, they are having some system. They, they are having signals. Say, PWD signal is there. So, they can say any activities in road construction, building construction, they can find out from the signals. And they can make their estimate. But in electrical, or in mechanical, it is really a tough one. To make an estimate, that is where your engineering is required. Engineer is not to do it. Because it is an estimated cost. You cannot give a big one, big amount. Then you will not get good response from uh, the vendor. So to find out, Say, you are going to give a uh, floating a tender, say particularly of a transformer. So, 11 kV transformer, say some MK, uh, say 20 MB or some MK transformer. So, you have to find out from market first thing what are the costs, say, VHM uh, or say, the different make. You have to first inquire or you must have the idea before going to give the estimated cost. And not only that directly, but lots of internal changes are there also. Somewhere some copper coil, somewhere some aluminum coil. So you must know about the details of that equipment also. Then only you can find out that estimate. So uh, this is very important. Uh, this estimated cost, finding out estimated cost, are ketur engineer engineer just a stop. You are there and go correctly, and you have to be very much safe, sure about this, what you are going to do or what you are going to be. Ami tanka amar hoyse. Ami ke jawa estimated cost dikte de. Ova ite the really a very tough job. Ami ke jawa tumile ko dekhte de amar estimated cost. Then what we are going to do? Hey, to one is a brief discussion with the time point that in fact, this one, I mean, also change for you all. Okay, this is this is from this tender of this. So, what is tendering process? How to proceed? A systematic approach of floating a tender to select a suitable vendor. The process facilitates to obtain important information of the vendor, such as vendor details, experience, previous financials, financial and technical capabilities, etc. To provide specifications, terms and conditions of some kind or work to the participating vendor. To obtain rate, breakup price, price of cost involvement, tax, etc., and tender activity. It will be a very good question. It will be a very good question. Anyway, we have a lot of people who are going to be able to do this. Anything you want to know? I mean, if the contract is you, why do you have a zero? Marco, I think I have a zero. I'm not going to be able to see it. 
আর মই যেতিয়া প্রথম চাকরি জয়েন করেছিল মানে মাঝে মাঝে কেন তোমাদের মূল দু এটা সরু কাহিনী কব পড়ি চুপি ধরলে কবা তো কাহিনী করি কারণ অলমোস্ট মানে থার্টি সিক্স ইয়ার্স মানে বাও হাজার কাম করি আর দিন রাত করেছিল টারবাইন খুলেছিল কম্প্রেসর একটা বহুত ইকুইপমেন্ট এয়ার কন্ডিশনিং আদি করে সব ওয়ার্কশপ এটা সব করেছিল লেজ নিজে চলাইছে शिकार to your working side with some minimum idea bishop you have to develop your self and you manage to make it work over you manage to make it work over you have to go by to obtain important information of the vendor as well as vendor details and experience previous financial financial and technical capabilities etc so to find out a most suitable vendor you have to know about the vendor adi ami ghoro nije dekhisu je ami kibara kaam korbole goi keteba enuka hoy jitu thikara ba jitu contractor ka ami lagao keteba ami mane khube mane haasti hoy je madhe hoyto kaam kaam na kore ba kya bostu ahi lagai dile that is why this particular point regarding the vendor you must know the vendor whom you are going to pay it is not a personal one it may be some company it may be bhl any company so you must know their financials their financial capability and other say credentials and experience so where they are they work particularly what you want to do that type of activity where they have done previously so that you must know because you are going to engage only experienced vendor to get optimum benefit you have to engage the most experienced vendor so that is why in the tendering process you have to find out everything to provide then again from your side how they are going to be because you have to give your what requirements you have to give specifications and terms and conditions how they are going to take uh, part or supplier or work to be participating vendor or details of that work then rate break up by price in some uh, say particularly you are going to purchase a 100 number of hands then there it is not required any break up but if it is a work activity lots of activities sub activities are there then you need to get break up price also then only from that break up price you will find out and it can be get and finally total amount will be cut now and that is also very important you know now it is gsp is coming you have to be gsp i have been covered it now time sub tendering process this is important basically there are so many times but i particularly Uh, even some uh, this four important uh, tender process. One is open tender. One is selective or limited tender. One is negotiated tender. One is single bid or two bid tender. And nowadays, e tendering takes the center stage for various advantages like sort of innovation, quick decision, transparency. You see, this is the most common type of tender where any supplier. Or service provider is allowed to take part in the tendering process. Then, the tendering is circulated through print media. In 
Indian media etc. for wide circulation. Often can join provides the greatest competition and gives opportunities for new and emerging media. However, being in position takes more time for proper speaking of the possibility of inferior media selection cannot be done. So that means say passing after passing engineering you are also eligible to participate if you are interested so in open data you have that advantage anyone can participate it may be individual it may be any farm any organization so this open data has given that type of but the client is having lots of problems. What type of problem? Can you judge? Meter selection. Yeah, inferior meter. Those who have that, that they know my experience, or if you have, anyone can participate. And at this way, it is very difficult to take them out. Because the smart competition is open that anyone can participate. So that is why uh, it takes time. So, uh, however, evaluation in the last part I have written, evaluation takes more time for proper scrutiny of the possibility of interior leader selection cannot be ruled out. So, uh, that is where we have to be very cautious. Or simple, उदाहरण का ही वैसे देखिए हमें फैन किन्हीं दिलो, फैन किन्हीं को क्या टेंडर कॉल कोई दिलो, फैन किन्हीं को फैन सप्लाय करने को नो स्पेसिफिक एक्सपीरियंस रखा ना, मतलब क्या पार्टिसिपेट कोई दिले, हमें एक तो स्पेसिफिक हमें इनका कथा आता है, जे वी कैन नॉट से इट शुड नॉट बी हैंडर स्पेसिफिक, it is open. Anyone can participate with Pusa, Hebel, or any any Bazaar. So that is where, say, Bazaar is having, say, three different qualities. Say, if inferior quality is also coming, then how you are going to find out? Ultimately, you will be the sufferer if you should the um, bad one, inferior one. So that is why open tender you have to be very cautious, but you cannot avoid open tender also. Otherwise, you cannot say being a new one, you cannot participate also. So that is why that way open tender is also important. And say for the general idea, it is always open tender is preferred. For any specific activity, specific items, then other type of tender is <laughs> so that is regarding <laughs> that selected or limited tender. This process allows only those bidders who are known by their past credential or track record, specialist and will be suitable. This system gives clients have greater confidence on qualitative aspect of the bid and ample time can be saved in the tendering process like tender extension or e-tender. However, the client should be very careful on limited meter selection to make the system transparent. Any loophole will otherwise lead to complication. Can you get my point? Is selective or limited tender? Yes, sir. So in some cases, you cannot go for open tender. You have to go with limited tender. Why limited tenders? Because if you have the limited tenders, at least you will know what are the firms participating and what, what about uh, and about their the past potential. You will know about because limited tenders. You will invite only those firms who are known to you, who are having experience. 
So that type of limitation the client can make. But there is another problem. Whom we are going to select? Moi, I think, keep an eye on Google. Go ahead, go ahead. Sari pasta select go ahead. By my own. Then it will be questionable. Why we are going to choose this this part and not that one? So that is very vital point. So while going for this limited vendor, you have to be cautious. And that is normally individually it is not decided. There is a committee tendering committee. So that committee is going all details of the past credentials of winners and the committee is going to decide whom you are going to form, whom you are going to uh, allow to participate. So in that way we have lots of advantages. Lots of advantages means that you, you know about the farm, you know about the organization and you, you are ensured that they, will, they are not going to distribute. So you can at least get the best results from that. And another important is that the time factor. If some unknown vendor is coming up, they may take much more time. Yeah, in the, when they are going to participate, they say that, okay, I am going to complete it one month. And later on, when you, are, uh, you will find that they, may, they cannot complete even two months, three months, even six months also. Or in between, they may let off. So that is why very important importance is here. Here you need limited time. But for selection of the vendors, you have to be very cautious. It should be transparent. Everyone, your uh, this whole management system, whole management, they must know whom you are selecting. Because nowadays you also know that ERP system is coming. So everyone is connected through internet media that whatever you are doing in your system, your management also know. So that transparency is there. It is nowadays it is helpful. No one can uh, take a decision uh, hiding uh, something uh, from other social nowadays. So transparency is very important here. So that is about Select, uh, uh, selective or limited tender and you have to be careful only to choose the family.
the everything, whatever you do, it should be transparent. Adi ami ya diamond jewelry pate chilo, jo awasor. Mu hoyto saka praya kothiye ki thakao saka. Ami bolle dalay ko ami chya ni kani. Ami khub diamond jewelry ami khub transparency rakhi do saka. Protect to go square. I mean, I'm going to get to it. One cross. You want to get another one? One point zero three cross. I'm going to get to it. And ultimately, we will save more than 38 times. It was transparent. I mean, I'm going to get to it. 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 एक वैसा किया मैं ऐसे का पास ही लो, और एक किया मैं उदास हो इसलो, और ये किया बार बार गोइंग टू डू, विद डेट थर्टी एट पॉइंट समथिंग, अभी कॉलेज में एक जो कार्डिंग इसमें काम हुए चल, डेट इज ऑफ सेलेक्ट इन ट्रांसपेरेंसी वेब पे ये, बल्कि ट्रांसपेरेंसी विश्वास के ऐसा कुछ हम आपको जो भी हमारा बोलना
and regarding that idea, you have better idea. All details. Then in that case, you can go for single bit. Much technical in details is not required. Simple technical, say air conditioning, you have to give the specification, the room specification. So these are the room, uh, this length and breadth, uh, this, uh, this type of equipment or this uh, 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 say five or ten or two people will be there in the room. Ultimately they will calculate it. So in that case, where involvement is not much, technical involvement, uh, involvement is not much, in that case single bit tender is used. So in that way what happens? If you go single bit means you need not go for different type of specifications, different type of conditions. Only just you flip the tender. I require this set. I am just taking it uh, air conditioning as example. I require say this amount of one ton uh, uh, air conditioner. And you can say that it should be of cooling coil should be of copper, not aluminium. So minimum specification. What you feel that that is important. You make it in the specification and you prove the tender and you ask the vendor to submit their offer <coughs> to directly submit the offer with the minimum required specifications what you have given with clarification on particularly of the specification and the vendor will submit Italy. So you can select vendor directly from that, say from price and the technical specification. Yes, definitely we need, we may put specifications like say you must prior, prior to this uh, tender, you have to at least apply and you have to give say uh, minimum five orders in last two years. Minimum supply of say 100 numbers of uh, air conditioning supply in last five years. So that type of condition you can give it. In that case, what happened? You will uh, get that. Uh, you will have ensured that that, is a, uh, that particularly supply is a good one. He is having experience. So that type of condition you have to give regarding the vendor's experience. So that in that case you will be ensured that at least. Whatever the parties they are going to join, they are experienced leaders. In that way, in a single man manner, maintenance only by giving the price with all technical specifications, then the tendering committee they will sit and they will uh, review those say, 10 or 12 uh, bidders participants. So they will say every uh, bidders offer, they will find out as part of specification, their experience, their financial capabilities, uh, their price, everything. Price is also coming along with this other specification. So they can find out it will not take much time also. You can give lesser time also. Say one important part is that when single bit tender is given. When the work involvement is less, then you need not to give much time. So sufficient of it, you need not to give much time. So you can give two weeks sometimes or some sort of this short tender. You can give three weeks time, you can give one month time also. That is that you can decide. So in a single bit tender is so that means uh, you are giving uh, that means you are asking to give in a single manner. Single manner means at that in the same bid, uh, the bidder is to give the price and the the technical specification. So that is for single bid. So that means the uh, tender committee will see, then find out uh, and finalize. That is the 
single week. So that advantage uh, I have given week finalization period is very short. Or for supply can be completed within a short or limited time period. That is for non uh, general purpose. But two week tender, this is somewhat critical. And you must know particularly this two week tender. This is one of the most complete tendering process. This tendering process is segregated in two parts, namely technical bid and commercial bid. Both technical bid and commercial bid have to submit separately in separate folder, but on the same day as specified in bid document. Technical bid needs to review first to select the eligible bidder as per tender specification. Bid review is the most critical phase of the entire tendering process. Once the eligible bidder selection is completed, through review of technical bid, the price bid is too often subject to fulfillment of minimum request criteria. If we go by the number, the what is two bid system and what is single bid? In fact, more about the question. जे हमारे ऑडिटोरियम तो यार कौन से नहीं होल सिस्टम तार जो 700 कैपेसिटी आठ हम मानों तो क्या आठ हम स्टूडेंट जितने बहुत ही थकी हो तार उसके बुटे कर बहुत ही टेम्परेशन थकी हो एक ह्यूमन हेल्थ ऐसा हिट हुए था कैलकुलेशन आने को सुखी बिल्ला कैसे सुखी बिल्ला का ऐसा ही एब्जॉर्ब कोई otherwise if bidder is not calculating that, then what will happen? Then KTFA are also considered the highest maximum temperature also. So in summer season. So this is another kind of order that is like you know, ultimately what do I mean? If you share temperature, we may not be there. So here is the only objective to go is to we have to go for two big systems. कर सिंगल बिल जब भी कुंबाया का हैंडल है, ठीक है, जब मौन इमानत, जब मौन एक दिन कोई नहीं। तो अमी कहने के लिए, how we are going to know that this particular the offer is correct? Basis, no doubt they will give some technical and submission that that will be there. For them. We require that type of say when activities are coming, say when when some lots of other activities also are involved in that case to get a proper good say response or say good product, then we have to go for two bit system. I mean, if you two bit system, do you? That is one another condition the offer. The Z two bidder participate will go. That at least last two years of minimum energy data auditorium for actually an experience certificate to go ahead. And the experience certificate come, he will not have a job. So, if you say, they are the part, then the signature to come, they have to submit that type of experience criteria. His financial capability that we guys to give. That are last three years of Balance it, they have to be. So financial capability means if we get their last three years balance it, finance detail, then only we will know that yes, this farm is capable. It is not that we are going to select, but this farm is capable. So that type of conditions will be there, and that is why two bit system will go in two steps. One is for technical bid, one is for price bid. 
the conditions were already I have told you regarding say experience criteria, regarding their financial capabilities, regarding their technical all calculations, all details. So everything will be given in the technical. When they are going to submit the paper, they will have to submit in two entrants. One is technical bid envelope and one is price bid envelope. That means price bid, only the price will be given in the price bid envelope. So, but when they are going to submit it, the firm is to submit both the envelope, both that means technical bid and the price bid, same day in a single envelope. And in those two envelopes, they have to write in a top that this is a technical bit and this is a price bit. And in the technical bit, that again that EMB clause will be there, earnest money deposit clause will be there, and earnest money is to be deposited. Not only clause, earnest money is to be deposited, and security deposit clause is there, guarantee clause will be there, and lots of specifications are there. So in the technical bit, Every detail has to be by the part. And in the price bit, only say the price part. It may be in the breakup type also, but price part they have to see. So now, how we are uh, how we are going to finalize? We cannot open the price bit envelope first. First thing, we have say five parts, uh, participants are there. We have to first find out in the committee we have to first find out that technical bit of all the five participants will remove their offers will review will make a comparative statement these are the clauses these clauses ok that experience yes this firm is having uh, the required experience ok then it is ok or say if it is not then not uh, experience and all the specifications, what we are giving in the te technical way, they have to reply. Say any deviations, maybe some, uh, some, sometimes some deviations may be there. In that case, they have to mention. Say payment clause, they may not because from our side, we have to because bidder also have the right to know how we are going to pay. It is not that in some activities, say after completion of the activity, we are going to pay in together. But sometimes in huge activities, huge work, they may, time to time, they may require payment. So that type of payment clause also, it is in the technical bid system. So bidder will know the price system. So they may have some deviation. They may ask also, no, that uh, this clause is slightly, we, we want to deviate, uh, we require say 20% payment in advance, another 50% after completion of the 50% work, then final 100% uh, after completion of the work, after commissioning of the activity. Say in case of say in social construction, lots of activities are there, transformer, not only transformer, current transformer, potential transformer, isolator, everything is there, conductor laying. So, in case of that type of say huge activity, so in that case the two bit system will be necessary. Then only you can find out who is the best and who you do not want. So the technical in the technical way, say if some vendors fails to comply with the conditions, some condition of the technical bit, automatically they will go on. Automatically they will cancel. So from there we will find out, we will choose that eligible bidder. Eligible bidder means the bidders we can open the price bill. I have written that subject to fulfillment in the bottom line a minimum participant criteria. Means say before going to open the price bid, say there are uh, 10 numbers of participants. Ultimately, after reviewing the technical bid, we found that only two bidders 
fulfill all the criteria. Other eight pillars they fail to fulfill the criteria. Then we cannot open the price bid of these two pillars because we require as per uh, central year uh, this regulatory uh, they added that minimum three bidders should be there. Minimum three participants should, should be there to open a price bid. Then we have to go for re-tendering or re-tendering because otherwise you already have opened the technical bid. Everyone knows that what this party is given for so re-tendering will be given, re-tendering will be there. Then again say another one month or one and a half months time will be given, then re-tendering will be started or the whole process will be started. Ultimately, we have to choose three bidders from technical bid to open the price. In case uh, after second time also, we could not find out three, then in the third time, we have to again go for extension. Third time, what will happen? Say, in that case, if say again only two bid. Two vendors fulfill the condition, then we can open the price. That means we have to wait for at least two times, three times. So on the third time only then that is allowed. Say in case it is less than three numbers, then also we can open the price. So that is why I have written in the bottom subject to fulfillment of minimum participant. Minimum participant means three. So, uh, this is two bit letter. The uh, Tiamat Malikya man headed to be by a Tiamat the Tiamat Malikya process. Tiamat Malikya man maximum Tiamat Malikya man is two bit this. And if you are a today's step, Tiamat sir, more than any question, after that, I am going to say that you are paper everything is basic system, but everything is going through internet, digitally. So they will submit digitally. Everything is digitally, review is going on digitally. And even my clients, they do not know up to the price here who is giving that this price, who is giving this uh, firm's name, it is known by the client. So that type of system is now it is coming. So it is uh, government wants that it should be this entire whole process is transparent. When a client has a cover bias to even why. This system is very transparent to look at a digital system. And look at this one system they are fully said. The client, they do not know. They, they only they see the details, they see the price, but they do not know with the meter. But you can see the system in the system. Sir, sir, what is Parties. That is the procedure. 
Unuvai did the thing, then we can write to them. Because they have to give details of the farm where they walk. Completion time and their certificate. Their endorsement is required in the express criteria. That's why I am giving you the example. So we can do it fine. That is there, there is every possibility is there. So that is why from technical big opening to price big opening, sometimes it may take 10 years time. Nowadays we can immediately say within a day we can write because they have to give the email also. We have to write those parts that uh, this suspense sus that uh, they have given that and they are doing the, uh, here, these activities and complete it successfully. So please give your comments. And that part they immediately uh, respond. So that is the only way if you want to verify anything, any doubt, then that is why price bid opening is slightly late. So we are, we are getting a gap of 7 to 10 days. That is uh, opening of price bid also fixed by the time. So that is not an issue. But there is a very good point. Yes, some, sometimes some vendors uh, may try to say, receive this plan. And uh, what are the important bid criteria? Previous discussion, deviation already, I have uh, told you this deviation that previous discussion, liquidated damage clause, security deposit and PBT. And what is previous discussion? Say, we are going to install or commission a switch here. Say, 220 KB switch here. So 220 KB switch yard means it involves huge, huge activities from cable to from insulator up to the transmission line from transformer say from incoming to outgoing that includes the even the battery system everything protection system panels everything is there. In that case, what will happen? When you are going to say make the specification, it will be a very, very tough one. Normally what happens, the organization, they have to, they have given it to consultant. To prepare the technical bit, they give to consultant and they normally used to prepare the technical bit. So, for the technical bit, Lots of queries may come also. Either they have lots of queries. So before submission, the client has to give their scope to discuss those queries to the bidder, interested bidder. So in the tender notice, there will be uh, there, uh, there is a date given as pre bid meeting. So that means pre bid. That means meeting before that, there will be a meeting and where every technical, commercial, any financial part will be cleared by the client. Then of course, we said, we have technical tender for the previous discussion, we have been discussing that we have been consulting on this. We have been discussing that we have been discussing that we have been discussing that we have been discussing Deep-like vendor has a lot of experience. So they ask lots of questions. Our idea is that we have some problems. In some questions, we could not answer it. Ultimately, we have to take help from other sources. Ultimately, we used to take some time from them. Okay? We'll be a bit. And whatever, let's say, prepaid, what I can say in uh, what the uh, 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 terms and conditions we in the original we, we have given we may sometimes we have to change in some cases then what will happen if we change any say big condition that will be again circulated to all the participating leaders so that is that big discussion is very important to clarify the doubt of all the leaders otherwise uh, what will happen? Say in the building, lots of same uh, terms and conditions, you will find them will be coming, will be given by the vendors 
in some uh, with some other meaning also. So it may not comply with your requirement. So that is why before uh, doing that, we have to uh, seek for a maybe discussion. Then deviation already I told you. Sometimes some kind client uh, well, people may require some deviation of clauses also. Then say client is accepting, then that is also to be saturated to all the people. Then liquidated damage clause. Uh, this one is also a very important clause. It is a penalty clause if the bidder fails to apply to stipulated time frame. It was our wasted. Our it is wasted recovery power plant. That involves a steam turbine installation, complete CCR installation, complete auxiliary installation. A good thing is going to be 36 months old. Whole activities. It's supposed to take 36 months. It was started, I, I remember it was started in the year 2008 on 31st March. Mohammed Khan, I was in charge of that power station. It was a steam turbine power station, uh, 37 megawatt power station. So that includes switchyard, that includes the installation of steam turbine, that includes all the auxiliary, all water pumps. Uh, all type of uh, electrical auxiliaries, switch here, uh, all panels. Uh, so, uh, and that was um, entrusted to PHL. Uh, to engineering, uh, when I engineer, it's about one part, it will take you a EPC contract. I think that in our days, you will find that EPC contract every almost everywhere. And then PPP for private participation contract also. And what is EPC? That is engineering procurement and construction contract. That means the vendor is entrusted to give to work for the entire engineering of the project. Say a switch here is to be constructed. Then entire design of the switch here from area needed to install up to what type of equipment, what is required, everything, because client will give what is their requirement and on that basis the vendor will do the engineering. That means that is not in the tendering process. We will not ask the uh, bidder to give all this. So once the bidder is finalized, that, that means after the tendering process, one, the successful bidder is entrusted with this engineering procurement and construction. Say, if you do the vendor, then out of say 5 or 10 uh, participants, you select the vendor, then that vendor will be entrusted with this EPC. That means his duty is to do the entire engineering, complete engineering. Then, Procurement, he will procure. As a client, you need not to procure. That vendor will procure on behalf of you. Then construction. Then construction means installation and everything. So that is EPC. That is, that is very important. And selecting a EPC vendor it is a very, very tough job. Amar Khatta Jitu Jamal Bulu, the VHL is 36 months to Jitu Man and 3 and a half years delay. It is only because of some wrong in the agreement. I mean, the agreement is not stringent. We could have said because I mean, he is the one that the amount of procurement is out. More major experience by the industry procurement. You know, the VHL is key for it. VHL they have the units in Hyderabad, they have the units in Trichy, in Calcutta, in Bhopal, everywhere in Delhi. So entire VHL is coming for that problem. Because Hyderabad is doing the supply of steel turbine, this Trishi is supplying the boiler part, Bhopal is supplying the electrical part, so Calcutta is um, uh, uh, taking the responsibility of installation and commissioning. So ultimately, Calcutta uh, was the weak link that time. Anyway, materials came also, VHL, Hyderabad and Trishi, they supplied the materials, but because of some poor management from Calcutta side, it is delayed and delayed. And that is why, that already I told you regarding that you will find the damage cost. So, 
this system is now available. So every, everywhere it is uh, uh, transparent. And what I am giving you that uh,
ของฝ่ายนี้อีกทีนี้เอ่อฝ่ายที่เอ่อ contact client side okay we want to introduce another single person so can you if any party is given then definitely that is going to be accepted and there is no hard and fast rule actually that from your say you have to find out the best way how to suit the best one Uh, the standard system tendering is uh, normal. 